Deputy Chief Justice Nancy Baraza now claims that she harbors fear for her personal security owing to what she says are threats of violence that have been directed towards her both on a personal and official capacity over recent months. In a statement sent to newsrooms, Baraza does not refute the fact that the New Year's Eve incident in which she has been accused of intimidating a guard with a pistol at a shopping mall in Nairobi did in fact take place. The Deputy Chief Justice termed the incident as unfortunate fortunate but stuck to her guns that she has security concerns that informed a move to increase her security detail and measures. Baraza was however quick to dismiss any alleged defiance of the security detail at the mall or claims of power play in her refusal to be frisked. She says in her statement in part and I quote the unfortunate incident at the village market should be viewed as genuine security apprehension on my part. I certainly had no intention of high handedness arrogance or ill will, end of quote. The Deputy Chief Justice, who doubles up as the Vice President of the Supreme Court, maintains that the matter should be left to the police for investigations and refused to make any further comment on the matter, citing active police investigation as a block to public discussion or debate which would otherwise render it inappropriate and prejudicial. Drama started when a security guard at Nairobi's Village Market shopping mall lodged a complaint against the Deputy Chief Justice over inappropriate behavior and intimidation on New Year's Eve. The guard Rebecca Keruba Mora claims Baraza threatened her with a gun after a short dispute where Baraza had refused to be frisked, in line with current procedure over tightened security around commercial buildings and shopping malls. Morara claims that the Deputy Chief Justice walked right past a file of people waiting to be frisked, prompting the security guard to follow her in, demanding that she comply with the security check. A dispute is said to have sparked resulting in Baraza walking to her car 30 minutes after entering a pharmacy at the mall and returned with what Morara claims is a pistol, sending her down on her knees pleading for dear life. The incident, which was captured on CCTV cameras in the building, are currently being reviewed by police as they seek to unravel what is now the mystery behind the second most powerful judge in Kenya's superior court. For Kiss TV News, I'm Jackie Maribe.